Dr. Skilladon, Bushcraft and Survival. Glad you could join me. First off, I again, I want to thank every single new subscriber, every single subscriber all across the board. Thank you very much for subscribing. I greatly appreciate you, and I love you all. I, I just, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Now, recently, I got a request on how to prepare different wild edibles and stuff, and, uh, well, I like that too. I get into that. And so it kind of excited me that somebody wanted to, you know, to see that, you know. So I went out and got some dandelion greens. And now I've already washed them off and prepared them, but I'll tell you. When you're going out and uh, looking for dandelion greens, uh, you definitely want to make sure that they are green, okay. And if they're long like this one right here, the stem actually comes way out here. So you want to kind of break that down because now it's edible. It's absolutely edible. But um, the closer it gets to the root, the more bitter it gets. So you definitely want to like break it down like this. And if you can get the small ones like this right here, well, I mean, those are like the least bitter. They, they're perfect. But I like to mix, you know, them together, the small with the big and stuff. And then I ran them under cold water and washed them off and stuff. And then I let them dry and I put them in a bowl. And now I'm getting ready to uh, put them back in the water so we can boil it and getting back to that recipe. Um, I'm going to show you a recipe that I use. It, it, it's awesome. So definitely I recommend trying it at home. And I'll tell you exactly how much I put and, you know, and of what and stuff like that. So... Let me go ahead and bring down the camera so that you can see what I'm doing, and uh, we'll get cooking. Now, I'm going to have to do this again because I've already done this once, and I mixed everything together, and then I realized that it wasn't recording. Silly me. But anyways, so what I have here. Now, this bowl right here is 20-ounce bowl, and it was kind of feeling over, so... That was the measurement of that. I put one tablespoon of salt, one tablespoon of butter, and two slices of bacon, and stirred it up. And now I'm going to put a lid on it, go ahead and get this uh, fired up, and uh, start cooking it. Now I have this set to medium heat, and uh, you definitely want it to come up to a boil, and then once it starts boiling, now you want to stir it as you go, but once it starts boiling, then you really need to stir it and flip it over and make sure that it gets a good mix, and uh, I'd say that the entire process will take about 45 minutes to one hour until it's done so I'll go ahead and get this going it's already going I'll, I'll do this and then I'll come back when it's actually complete and finished and ready to eat okay okay well that was right about 45 minutes I'm gonna go ahead and set that right there so you can see Set this right here so it don't fall off. <laughs> and this right here is what it looks like. Looks like regular uh, spinach when it's done. As you can see. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and fix me up a bowl. Give some of that bacon. I love bacon. 
There we go. Now, put the lid back on and I'll reposition the uh, camera. All right. Now, with this right here, you do want some of the soup because a lot of the vitamins and stuff like that is in the soup as well, the water. So I'm going to take me a little uh, ladle here. I'm going to dip some uh, soup right out of there. Pour it right in. Because I want some of that. Set that aside. And set this back on there. Now, it's packed full of iron. It's got all kinds. And I, in the last video, I went through all the things that it has in it. It's a very nutritious plant. But, it is kind of a diuretic as well. So, um... Then make sure that you drink plenty of water when you're eating this also. Uh, don't eat too much of it because just like spinach, it will, uh, you know, send you to the bathroom, you know. And so, but if you eat this in moderation, it's extremely healthy and extremely good. Now, I'm going to go ahead. This is another. Uh, I made these chopsticks out of pawpaw. I'm actually going to flip, flip this around. If I can talk. Made these chopsticks out of pawpaw. The pawpaw inner bark is edible as well. And the fruit that it makes is edible. And as a, you might like it, I don't know. <laughs> it tastes kind of like a tree. But uh, it is healthy for you. But that's another story. But the reason why I'm using pawpaw for the uh, chopsticks is because there's absolutely nothing bad about this specific wood. So. Let's go ahead and get this, uh, get a bite. And, uh, see how it tastes, huh? This is awesome. Please try it at home. Like I said, one tablespoon of salt. A 20 ounce bowl full of dandelion leaves, one table, uh, tablespoon of butter, and two slices of bacon. And, and you will be very thankful you did. Let it boil. It takes about 45 minutes and stir as you go until it gets to about this consistency right here. And then, well, it's time to eat. Very, very good. Well, I'm going to set this down. Well, that's going to be it for today on how to fix and prepare dandelion greens. It's just one way. You can uh, have it in salad and eat it raw. It's up to you. If you do eat it in a salad, I would definitely put some vinaigrette um, uh, salad dressing on it to uh, reduce the bitterness and mix it with other stuff, say tomatoes and iceberg lettuce and romaine and all that. It makes an excellent salad. Um, but for today, dandelion greens, and uh, I hope you try it and I hope you like it. So like I said, that's going to be it for today. Thank you very much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. And again, thank you to all the subscribers. I, I can't thank you enough. I'm, it's motivating, you know, making me want to make more videos and stuff. So, uh, yes, thank you. And uh, also, I want to mention if you would like to, you know, help out the channel any, if you would like to have a t-shirt, I'll have a link below where you can uh, go to the website and get, you know, whatever product is there. I got flasks, water bottles, got a whole bunch of stuff. But anyways, I'll leave the link in the description if you want to, you know, do that. It helps out the channel. And uh, like, share, subscribe, and all that good stuff. Thank you very much. Look forward to seeing you soon.